Hi, and welcome to Magic Uncut. My name's Graham. Behind the camera, we have Lee. Say hi, Lee. Hi, Lee. Um, today, we're going to do a tutorial, um, and this one is of the Drunken Shuffle. If you haven't seen the performance of the Drunken Shuffle, uh, pause this video. There's a link below in the description. Go down there, have a look at the little short that I put out called the Drunken Shuffle, um, and then come back. Um, it's a flourish. It isn't really a card trick. It's just a fancy way in maybe a demonstration of shuffles to, to show a, a drunken shuffle. Um, this tutorial assumes that you've got some basic card ability. Uh, you will need to know how to do a, a false cut and a false shuffle. If you don't have any card ability, but you still want to learn this, then I would recommend you go to our description and find the link below for the Royal Road to Card Magic. It's a course that's available as a DVD. It's also a book uh, and you can get it as an instant download. I'm not uh, affiliated to it in any way. It's just my recommendation if you're a beginner to magic and you want to learn how to control a deck of cards. So, Lee, ask me a question about the Drunken Shuffle. What's the setup? The setup is very simple. You have a deck of cards and it is a genuine deck of cards. It could be borrowed, right? And you need to turn the four aces. This is optional. It doesn't necessarily have to have the four aces. You can have the four kings or whatever four cards you wanted for your next trick. You, these could be gaffed cards. So you can go straight into another routine. But your four aces are card, ace, card, ace, card, ace, card, ace, all face up. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to spread them face down. But you're going to retain this top stock like that. Um, so you don't reveal those. You can then, if you kind of, if you kind of do that uh, and, and spread them out without exposing the top, you could just take the cards and just say, push them off, show them like that. Show them like that without revealing that, that little setup at the top, right? You then need to do some false shuffles because you're going to say, uh, I'm going to show you how a drunken man shuffles. Um, and, and a normal shuffle would be this. So you do your false shuffle like that. You do your false shuffle like that. Now, if you're not able to do um, an overhand shuffle that retains the, the, the top stock, right? Then the easiest one is a riffle shuffle and just retain the top stock. Okay. But whatever you do, you've got to keep them four aces and the king on the top like that. Right? Okay. You could then give them some false cuts as long as you retain the four aces and the king on the top. You're then going to say, this is how a normal person would shuffle cards. This is how a normal person might shuffle cards. This is how a normal person might cut cards. Again, retaining that on, those on top. But this is how a drunken man shuffles cards. And what you do is you turn the cards face up. You put your thumb there and you just bow the cards like that. So you've put a bow in the cards. And then you take off about 10 cards. You turn them over. You keep your thumb there. And then you push off another few cards. And you clip your thumb onto them and you turn them over. And you push them off and your thumb's the one that's clipping all the time and you push them off and you push them off and then you push them off you stop before you get to to the aces right and then they go on like that now it looks like you've mixed the cards but what essentially you've done is you've got these cards there which are face that way and these cards there that are face that way all you need to do is drop them and push your finger up the batter there and drop them behind. Turn them over and give them a shuffle and a normal cut. And every single card's now back to where they were. Now, if you give them another cut, you'll finish up with them aces in the middle. And it looks like you've restored the deck, but kept the four aces, or the, magically the four aces have appeared face up. Now, I'll give you a... A full performance because if you probably watch the performance but this is what it looks like uh, a normal shuffle would be that the cards would be taken like that a normal person would shuffle the cards like that and give them a cut like that but a drunken person this is how they shuffle them and it's not a bad idea because you can then see when you're dealing, what you're dealing with the people. And I'm going to give them another cut like that. I'm going to click my fingers. And there you are. The deck's all back to normal. And the four aces. And now, or the four cards that you want. These could be gaff cards. And they're ready to go into another trick. Um, I hope that made sense. Uh, and 
if you want to learn more magic then please subscribe uh, because there will be more tutorials coming or click on the link above which will take you to another magic trick uh, there are reviews on our site check those out and uh, thank you for your time